Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Flape2000 coming at you with a little different commentary today. Um, I believe in practice makes perfect. So I started doing this a little while ago, and that is just setting up some bot matches and practicing my quick scope and my sniping skills. And on this one, I am on the map plaza. I'm using the iron sight ballista. And I've started to realize the biggest problem with my quick scoping is I think I do it too fast. Like I'll zoom in or scope in and I'm not even on the target sometimes and I'll get frustrated, pissed off and be like, well, how, how do I miss him? And then I'll realize, wait, I wasn't even on him. And I think using the iron sight ballista has really brought that into light. And also, I think one of my biggest complaints as far as quick scoping goes and st even really sniper rifles in general is a lot of times the crosshairs blend into the background if you get a dark black round the crosshairs are all black I wish we could change those like you can for the ACOG and the um, other the other sites and stuff I wish we could change the color of it or get a different one on there so I tried using the ACOG on a, another practice round and I did a lot better because I can change the color of it and it allowed me to have a rectangle that stood out. But back to the topic at hand, which is practice. I don't know how many of you guys actually set up bot matches to practice or if any of you really do it. Um, if you do, what's your thoughts on it? I think it's helped me out a little bit. Uh, I did a couple matches right after this practice session and I didn't do too bad. I found I was zooming in better. I was scoping in better, however you want to call it and the shots were more on target. The other thing I've noticed though is the hit detection with the sniper rifles is hit or miss. I, sometimes it feels like I can put the crosshairs on them, pull the trigger and it hits them. Other times it's like the shot shows up four inches to the left or two inches to the right. It's uh, a little odd and I think a lot of it has to do with my overall reaction to or a tendency to sometimes drop shot. <laughs> even when I'm quick scoping, That's something I am working on and practicing and I think the more I do it the better I'll get. I don't claim to be anywhere near a good quick scoper sniper. I enjoy doing it and I'm getting to the point where I don't even care about my kill to death ratio. I just like doing it for fun. And I think the practice is helping me. It's made me realize my aim is off and I have some other flaws. I reload too fast and the drop shots. I started doing that way back in like the first Call of Duty, Call of Duty 4, and it's carried over to every every single um, game since then. And that's one of the biggest problems I'm having with the quick scoping and the sniping is I have a tendency to not necessarily try to hit that button, but I do. And it's something I need to work on. So I think with the practice I can actually do that and it's going to get a lot better. Um, in this match, you can see uh, it's uh, six six on one, I think. So I really had to keep moving. I couldn't camp in one spot, which I don't like to do with the sniper rifle anyway. And one of the biggest tips I think I have and I've learned is to always keep on the move, but don't sprint. And that's another bad habit I need to break is the sprinting of the sniper rifle because it's going to get you killed. No matter, it, it's just one of those things that you can't aim fast enough after coming out of a sprint with a sniper rifle and especially with the SMGs, LMGs, assault rifles, pistols all they gotta do is start pulling the trigger they, they can fire blindly and get you but that's another thing I need to really work on is the taking it slower with the quick scoping not necessarily sprinting but but not camping kind of moving around slowly but steadily so I'll get that too I'll work on that um, let's see a little I guess a little update besides this little practice session is I am going to do another montage it will be coming out soon I have two or three clips I got that are really nice that are um, I have a split quad feed a five man and a few um, collateral three man you know three pieces but uh, taking my time with this one because I want this one to be really really good I want this to be the best one I've ever done and I want the clips to be the best clips I've had so I'm going to wait till I get some more really decent clips I've got three or four, like I said, i got three or four right now, but we're going to um, hold off on doing any kind of montage, at least until April. I'll do a couple commentaries between now and then, and to keep my channel active. Um, I might do a few mini montages, maybe with a uh, 
more along the lines of the shootout series with the SMGs and stuff like that, just to keep it something posting up for you guys. Other than that, um, let me know your comments on your opinions on practice. I think it's good, and um, I really would like to start doing some one-on-one -on -one sniping so I can really work with a human character. You know, humans they react differently than these bots, no matter what kind of um, that we put in Harden or not. So if anybody's interested in some one-on-one -on -one sniping on the PlayStation or even the Xbox, let me know. Hit me up. All right, peace. Uh, this is Flay 2000. Um, peace, and I'll see you on the flip side. Transitioning. Time's almost up. Job done.